So today I got a consultation at the New York Botanical Gardens and it's located in the Bronx. I walk into this place and I gotta tell you, it's amazing. I'm feeling kind of tranquil. Hi, how you doing? Hey buddy, nice to meet you. Nice How's to meet you as well. Excited to have you out here at the garden. I mean, I gotta say, walking down this hallway, yeah. it's really brought me back to nature, <laughs> you know? Awesome. So tell me a little bit about this event you're having. So uh, every year um, for Hispanic Heritage Month, we have a uh, celebration. We want to celebrate community, celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. We've done this for about 20 years. We call it Fiesta de Flores. The party of the flowers. Yes. And about how many guests do you have? Uh, there'll be a few hundred people, uh, about 300 folks here. Well, we could do a big cake with 300 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have uh, tons of food, artisans, live music, and wanted to order a festive cake. Plenty of inspiration, hopefully, here. Here we have our seasonal exhibition for 2015. Terracotta pots with succulents, cacti, with different patterns, as you can see. You know, they had a great display with all different succulents and cacti, but you know, it's really not in my wheelhouse. Usually we're doing like flowers or something like that. So um, I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out yet. So we also wanted to incorporate um, calaveras. They're uh, sugar skulls. And how do you pronounce them? Calaveras. Calaveras. Yep. It's related to uh, Day of the Dead. Fiesta de Flores coincides with Mexican Independence Day. So we wanted something to really capture Mexican heritage. We think it'll be a great tie-in with our current exhibition and with Hispanic Heritage Month as well. I'm excited to do this. I'll make a great cake. Awesome. Well, we're definitely excited. Well, thank you, my friend. Right. I appreciate it. I'm just going to like thank walk you. around. Yeah, take a look. Get a little uh, inspiration. You know, looking at the exhibits they had there, there was a lot of cactuses and succulents, and I'm looking at all these terracotta pots with all the different details. My brain is working, I'm feeling good. The juices are flowing. It's Fiesta de Flores, baby. All right, so we got a cake for Fiesta de Flores. Fiesta de who? Flores. It's gonna be at the Botanical Gardens. Oh, ooh. And I want it to feel floral, but when you think of like, you know, the flowers in Mexico, I think more of like the cactuses, I think desert flowers, you know, and I think we do it in the terracottas, and then maybe we'll set the cake back so that we can put some the cacti or, yeah. you know, on the floor. I think this is going to be like a bold, bright color, like a yellow. Or to do yes. red, then, if you do red and red, green. Red, red, red yeah, This is going to be terracotta. It's going to... Yeah, I think the yellow might pop yellow. a little bit more. So our plan for this cake is to do three tiers of terracotta pots and cacti all over it. You want to make it's it like, like two and three, and three feet. For the center piece of this cake, we're going to do a giant cactus coming out of the pot. So I got Frankie, Danny, and Joey stacking vanilla cakes with Deuce de Leche filling, baby. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Yummy. I'm using Deuce de Leche because it's a signature flavor throughout all Latin America. It's a rich, delicious syrup made from caramelized milk. Is a good color for the pots? Oh, looks terracotta, huh? Good. So we're working on this cake for the Fiesta de Flores and Hispanic Heritage Month. Danny's gonna prep all kinds of bright colors of fondant. When I think of Hispanic Heritage Month, I think of like beautiful bright colors. The colors are perfect. Are you doing any little pots? We might need some more for the other little ones. So I'm gonna get all my decorators working on all kinds of cactuses, and you know, they're covering crispy treats and making different shape ones. They're doing an awesome job. Awesome cactuses, baby. <laughs> so we're working on this cake for the Fiesta de Flores and Hispanic Heritage Month. Let's get to the next tier. For the center piece of this cake, we're gonna do a giant cactus coming out of the pot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take pipe and then cover it in green modeling chocolate. It's gonna look like a real cactus. Let me see, Ralph. Let me see, put it here. Eight pounds, maybe 10. I pick up this cactus and this thing is heavy. I'm worried that the weight of this is gonna tip. 
this is not going to work. The cactus is heavy, and that's got to go on top. No. It could take that tear down, and we could have a disaster. That cactus on that is going to be very top heavy. Why wouldn't I have thought of that? Sometimes when you do these cakes, you have an unforeseen thing. And it's rare, very, very rare. But I overlooked something. We have one other option that we could do. Build a round board with, with dowels that go down to here, that we press it down, stability. What I do is I make a support system. Good. I cut pegs and I screw them onto the board. This will set in the cake, and then I know that the flange is gonna go onto that. It will give it stability where it can't tip over. I just hope that when Ralph is finished with the cactus, it works. What are we gonna put here for a border? About rocks. We'll do some rocks. We'll put the fudge, fudge and, then... and then the crunchies on top, yeah. To make it look like the plants are growing out of the soil, we're using cake crumbs and candy rocks. All right, you ready for the cacti? It's time to put on the cactuses. I start putting them here and moving them there. Joey, give me another small one. And moving things around. And the more I'm doing, the better she's looking. You want to try screwing this cactus on? Let's do it. Dun, dun, dun. Say we got a good, uh, we have 13 pounds of cactus there. Be careful. Come on, keep turning. How's that? That's good. Now, it's not the ideal thing but I think it's just enough to make it work. I could go over here. The thing that's gonna put this cake over the top is the details. We're adding more rocks and cacti to really fill this cake out. And Liz has finished up painting the Mexican sugar skull, and we put it on, and it's really gonna tie this cake into Latin America. I love it. I think it came good. I like it a lot. I think the colors are fantastic. The rocks look really nice with all the other colors, too. It came together really nicely. It's beautiful. All the shades of green are nice, too. Just having the greenery and the cactuses, I thought at first might not be enough. I thought we would need some sort of flowers, but it doesn't need it. It looks great. As long as the cactus stays standing, I think they're going to love it. Good job, team. You know something? They're getting heavy and heavy and heavier. Either they're getting heavier and oh, heavier. Oh, we're getting old. You're I don't getting, know what's going on. You're not old, Danny. Ah. We're delivering this cake into the Fiesta de Flores, and it's like an awesome event. There's all kinds of people here. The Bronx Borough President's here. Buenas noches. There's great food. There's a mariachi band. I mean, who doesn't love a mariachi band? Hello. Wow. That looks awesome. And cake. The cactus stayed upright and it looked great. Thank you, my you friend. so much. <laughs> it looks Pleasure great. Pleasure to see you, my friend. Buddy perfectly captured the spirit of the night tonight. All the nice colors that represent all the vibrancy of the Hispanic heritage. There's a wonderful large cacti as the focal piece with lots of small succulents throughout and the Mexican calavera head as well. It looks great. So who wants to see some cake? <laughs> We did juice of the leche filling. It's tiempo para empezar la fiesta. And we thank Buddy, mi pana, for kicking it off. Let's have a good fiesta. Yeah. When they said fiesta, they weren't kidding. Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, everyone.